stem. The stem is the ascending part of the axis bearing branches, leaves, flowers and fruits. It develops from the plumule of the embryo of a germinating seed. The stem bears nodes and internodes. The region of the stem where leaves are born are called nodes, while internodes are the portions between two nodes. The stem bears buds, which may be terminal or axillary. Functions of the stem. The main function of the stem is spreading out branches bearing leaves, flowers and fruits. It conducts water, minerals and photosynthates. Modifications of the stem. 1. Underground stem modifications. This helps to store food and take part in vegetative propagation. For example, potato and stem tuber. 2. Stem tendrils. They help in climbing. For example, a pumpkin. 3. Philoclades. In deserts, some stems undergo transformation into fleshy and flattened structures called philoclades. 4. Cladophils. Cladophils are branches that transform to help photosynthesis. For example, asparagus. 5. Bulbil. Bulbils are structures which separate from the parent plant and form adventitious fruits that help in vegetative propagation. For example, Dioscoria. 2. Subaerial stems. A. Runners. In some plants, the stem spreads to new places and forms new plants when the old ones die. Such plants are called runners. For example, Oxalis. B. Stolon. In some plants, a slender lateral branch arises from the base of the main axis. After growing aerially for some time, they arch downwards and form adventitious fruits. These are called stolons. For example, a jasmine. C. Offset. In some aquatic plants, internal branches called offsets arise from the same internodes. At the internode, they form leaves in a rosette form. D. Suckers. In chrysanthemum, the lateral branches originate from the basal and underground portion of the main stem, grow horizontally beneath the soil and then come out obliquely upward. These are called suckers. Leaf. The leaf is a flattened structure that originates from the stem aerially. It develops at the node and bears an axillary bud. The axillary bud later develops into a branch. A typical leaf consists of three main parts. 1. Leaf base 2. Petiole and 3. Lamina Venation Venation is the way the veins of the lamina are arranged over the leaf. If they are in the form of a network, it is called reticulate venation. If they are parallel, it is called parallel venation. Monocotyledonous leaves have parallel venation. Dicotyledonous leaves have reticulate venation. Types of leaves Leaves are of two types, one, a simple leaf, two, compound leaf. A leaf is said to be simple. When its lamina is entire or when incised, the incisions do not touch the midrib. When the incisions of the lamina reach up to the midrib, breaking it into a number of leaflets, the leaf is called compound. Compound leaves are of two types. These are A. Pinatelli compound leaf, for example, neem. B. Palmately compound leaf, for example, Bombax siba. Philotaxy. Philotaxy is the pattern of arrangement of leaves on the stem or branch. This is of three types. 1. Alternate philotaxy. 
Example, hibiscus. 2. Opposite philotaxy. Example, calotropis. 3. Whorled philotaxy. Modification of leaves. 1. Tendrils. In trees with weak stems, leaves are modified into tendrils. Example, pea plant. 2. Spines. In desert plants, they are converted to spines to reduce transpiration. For example, cacti. 3. Fleshy leaves. They become fleshy to store food. Example, onion. 4. Phyllodes. The petiole turns green and produces food. Example, acacia. 5. Insectivorous plants. In some plants, leaves form pictures to trap insects. Six, vegetative propagation leaves. Buds form at the edges of leaves. They get separated and form adventitious roots. Example, bryophyllum. 